this 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 video i don't think it has a plan what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is akronamu and for today's video we're just gonna sit down and talk that's exactly what we're gonna do for this video because i wanted or that i am starting a new segment on my channel that is gonna be more like a chit chat monday chat morning chat uh chit chat monday i'm not really sure what to call it but it's just gonna be me sitting down and talking to you guys about random stuff like about life about girl talks basically just talks okay it's just gonna be talks i i haven't specified exactly what's gonna be talked about but it's just talks about life y'all okay because life so far has been life -y, okay anyway so today <laughs> today let's start this series with a bang because y'all i had an epiphany epiphany it's called epiphany right when you sit down and realize something and you go oh shit that's true it's got an epiphany i think so a couple of days wait not a couple of days on friday this week that's two days ago today is sunday so saturday is friday um we went for a funeral unfortunately but when i was sitting there during the entire mass i was looking at the coffin because you know when Christians, we do our burial ceremonies. The coffin is right in the middle of the congregation. So I was looking at him and then I realized something. At the end of my life, I'm gonna be alone in that little box. Okay? Even if you wanna get, it's got cremated, even if you get cremated, you'll still be alone in the little jar. So at the end of our life, we're gonna die alone. We're gonna be put in that casket alone. Even if you die with other people, tragically at the same time, each of you will have your own little box. And when I realized that, when I saw that, when my brain started telling me, you know, when I just was sitting there and I saw all these things and I'm like, at the end of my life, I'm going to be in that little box and I'm going to be put down in that little hole on the ground. I'm going to stop living life for other people point blank period okay yes it took a while to get to my point but the point that i got from that is i need to stop living for other people you need to stop living for other people because at the end of your life at the end of my life we're gonna be alone and the people you are living life for are gonna continue with their own guiding life you see when i was in primary school i would never forget primary school high school um the teachers used to tell us, oh, study hard, get good grades. Even if it's not for you, it's for your parents. I'm not, this is not supposed to be a rude video, but in reality, okay, for, for example, me, I got a C, C minus in KCSE. I wasn't, it's not that I'm not bright. I just don't really pay attention to schoolwork. Um, so anyway, what is my mom doing with my grade? You see, I was told, you know, in school, like especially in high school when it's close to major exams or primary school when it's close to the major exam, study for your parents, you know, the people who pay your school fees, you know, study for them if you're not studying for yourself. Okay, so I got a C minus. What is my mom doing with my grade right now? Absolutely nothing because it ain't, it ain't hers. And, and so many people, especially kids, you know, you're a kid to someone, so everyone is a child to someone. We live so much for our parents, our families. You know, we're living for them. We're trying to accommodate everyone. You're trying to make everyone happy. You're trying to please everyone. But in reality, this all got to stop. Like, it, better, it has to stop because you need to enjoy your life, okay? And I, for one, there was a time Probably I'm still doing it, but I, I, I kind of like when I'm when I when we go to family meetings, family get together, I hide who I am. If you ask my family members, none of these people know exactly who I am. None of them know. They'll be like, she's a quiet family member. No, I'm not quiet. I'm just quiet with you people because when I open my mouth, I'm gonna insult someone. I'm gonna say something wrong to them. It's not going to be wrong to me, y'all, but it's going to feel wrong to them. So I keep quiet. Like when they go out and ask my friends, 
what the friends I used to have. They will tell you a completely different thing. Because I say what I say, I do what I do. I am me with every other person except my family members. Why? They're super of African. Black, they're African, not just black. You know, black Americans are kind of whitewashed a little bit, but this is reality, this is real Africa. If you do something that is not aligned to what we were taught as children, you, people go ballistic. For example, I was getting my hair done a couple of days ago, and this child, she kinda, um, it was, I was, I was wearing this wig installed, right? And this child, it was on the mannequin getting after it got like, you know, cleaned, not clean, but like flat iron and blow dry, you know, to get it a bit silky and straight. This child put the hair on her head. And then I told my hairstylist, like, she was taking my wig. So when she brought it back, that kid kept on touching it. And I was very angry. And the mother of the child didn't seem to give a damn at all. I feel like she thought it was funny and cute and quirky because, you know, kids are like that. And I started saying that I hate children. I can't deal with that kind of behavior from children. Then my hairstylist went on and said, when it's your child, it's going to be different. And I told her, I don't want a child. And she was like, but what about your mother? Give your mother a child. I'm like, my mom do, do have a child. Me. Okay? The absolute, like, the decision to have a child me to have a child is my decision but in africa we don't see that we don't see that a woman does not have a choice when it comes to having children you need to have children also that your mom can have a, a, a grandchild your your great your grandmother can have a great grandchild it's a thing about oh you need to have a child to do this and this and this and this the point i'm trying to make with all these different examples is in your life you need to focus on what you like what you want you see nobody's gonna come and force me to have a child if i'm not ready that is 100 percent my decision if i want to grow old alone in the forest like a freaking witch that's my decision it ain't nobody else's it's my decision because if i give birth because oh i want to give my family a new child a new auntie a new cousin a new nephew whatever they're not gonna raise that goddamn child for me. I'm gonna have to raise the child for myself. So if I'm not ready, if I don't wanna have a child, you're not supposed to force me into it or guilt trip me into it. People need to stop, like, I don't know how I'm gonna drive this point home. Live your own life, okay? Live your own life. Like, you know, when we're growing up, especially African children, I'm from Kenya, okay? So. I say African because it's comparison, not comparison, it's collective when it comes to Africans. We understand each other, like how a Nigerian child was, was raised is how I was raised, how a South African child was raised. We have the same similar stories, different parts of Africa, different countries in Africa, we do have the same story about how we're raised, about how our family expects us to behave. Like for example, yeah. you see, when you do something different, ever notice it side note side note this video feels all over the place it's just because i have so many examples and i'm trying to put them across but the main point i'm driving home let's remember is you need to start living right for yourself that's the point i am driving home so i feel like people need to understand that it doesn't matter what people say about your lifestyle as long as you're not going you're not going around freaking maiming everybody that's a different kind of scenario but if you're living life how you want it okay if you're living life as a princess you want to live your life as a princess if you're living your life as a god if you're living your life as gay if you're living your life as transgender no one is supposed to be insulted by that no one is supposed to feel obliged to tell you Oh, that's not the right way to live because in reality ain't no right way to live there is no right way to live there is no like written rules about this is how you're supposed to eat so focus on your own life if you want to be a stripper for the rest of your life fucking do that if you want to be a sugar baby for the rest of your fucking life do that why it's your life like underline <laughs> i sound like a teacher right now but underline your life it's your life, ain't your mother, ain't your dad, ain't your sisters, ain't your grandmother, your life. And, 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 and it's a bad, it's not really a bad, it's a hard thing to remember because when you're living life for yourself, people will start saying, oh, you're selfish, 
oh you're this oh you're that don't listen okay don't listen just focus on yourself if you if you want to live your life traveling the whole world like i want to do like y'all i'm not even kidding you the first time i get the chance to get on that plane and start traveling the world i am not getting off that plane y'all i'm gonna travel until i go to mars because i'm gonna outdo i'm gonna like i'm gonna finish the whole world because that's what i want to do with my life in my life i want to travel okay i want to travel make money eat a bunch of stuff i've never seen in my life and then eventually die but you see people won't agree with that because i haven't said oh what about i i, I haven't talked about marriage or children or raising children I haven't talked about that because it's not part of my plan right now i just want to catch flights okay that's all catch flights make money as i catch flights go everywhere i want do everything i want so i don't want nothing to tie me down right now nothing i am about to become the most selfish human being on this freaking planet i'm not saying like in a bad way i'm saying that with my happiness with my goals with my dreams i am not gonna live for anybody else anymore i'm gonna start living for myself because in the end of this all in the end of it <laughs> what what is that even correct english at the end of this all i'm gonna die alone and i'm gonna be in that small casket on my own it doesn't matter if it's gonna be covered in gold if it's a bot freaking 10 million dollars it's still that small little casket that i'm gonna be in for the rest of well my dead life i guess so right now i want to focus on me as much as i can and I'm gonna be as selfish as I can to achieve my goals, to achieve my dreams, to achieve the things that I want in life. I wanna, like, I wanna see the world. When I say I wanna see it, not through someone's eyes, not through TikTok, not through other person's YouTube or like, or like, you know, the internet, Google, no, 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 no. I wanna be there physically to see with my own two eyes. And, and I am not gonna let anybody prevent me from doing that because everyone is entitled to their own lives don't be scared to live life for yourself it's challenging it's scary to start and you're gonna hear the you're gonna hear the whispering you're gonna hear the oh you have changed you're gonna hear the why are you doing this you're gonna hear them you're gonna hear them people are gonna start calling you rude for speaking your mind or having an affirmative answer it's gonna be there i know i know it's gonna be there i know because i have heard i have seen i've been told but do i care i don't know because this is my life and at the end of it all i am the one in control of it i decide what i do with my life no one else i decide it's no one else's i decide because i'm not gonna go and dictate someone else's life so no one should dictate my life and now I should dictate your life. So, uh, yeah, that's just all I had to say for this video. Um, I hope, you know, you like it, you enjoyed it, you got inspired by it. <laughs> I feel like a motivational speaker at this point. I am turning into the people I used to hate, motivational speakers. When I was in high school, I hated those people because they'll be start, they, they, they used to say weird stuff. Things that just don't make sense. But anyway. Oh my god. Anyway guys. That is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. And comment down below what more you want to see on my channel. That guys I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.